So if you ever spent any time in the woodlands at Litzinger, you'll probably recognize all this green stuff growing on the ground. So this is winter creeper, Euonymus fortunii, probably one of our worst woodland invasive plants. Very popular in landscaping because it makes a very good ground cover, both in your yard and in natural areas. When it's allowed to escape and run amok, it can form these thick, dense carpets that completely covers the ground layer and chokes out almost all of our native plant species while providing little to no benefit to insects and other wildlife. And since it stays green pretty much year-round, it's also a very poor fuel for prescribed burning. So when it's just really thick like this, it makes it almost impossible to get fire through here. So it's really something we try hard to get rid of. And what we're going to do is come through this area and treat it with herbicide using backpack sprayers. And a lot of folks are wary of using herbicide for good reason, but when used responsibly by people that know what they're doing, it can be a very effective and safe tool for restoration projects like this. But before we get to that, you can see there's a lot of leaf litter on the ground here. And since our herbicide works through contact with the leaf surface of winter creeper, having all these dead leaves covering it up isn't going to do us any good. So I'm going to use that backpack blower over there and just kind of clean this up, remove as much of the litter as I can, and expose more of the winter creeper leaves, which will make it much more effective treatment and hopefully prevent us from having to come back and uh, treat this area again. Okay, so we're all done blowing, and as you can see, it looks a lot cleaner out here now that we've removed the leaf litter and exposed the ground cover, which is like 99% winter creeper. And these leaves are evergreen, so it looks like this pretty much all year round. So our native plant species don't get much of a chance to establish and compete with it once it gets to this point. So what we're going to do is we're going to treat this whole area with a special herbicide that only targets broadleaf plants. So it's not going to hurt any of the grasses that are in here. It's only going to affect the broadleaf forbs, which as I mentioned is pretty much just winter creeper right now. A lot of our native woodland plants are dormant for the season, won't come up until spring or summer. So waiting until this time of year to do herbicide treatments on winter creeper. Uh, helps prevent killing off the native plant species that we're trying to protect. So here's another area in the south woods that I treated earlier where the winter creeper is just making this thick carpet all over the ground and you can see that a lot of the leaves are starting to turn brown and crispy. So our herbicide treatment was effective. So hopefully by spring, summer, when the growing season really starts taking off, most of this will be dead and that'll be a huge help to our native plants that are in here that have had to compete with these vines for so long. And we'll seed in a lot more native grasses and forbs that'll make it much easier for us to manage this area using prescribed fire in the future. So here are some of the native plants that we are trying to help out. These are the early leaves of Blue-Eyed Mary, Kalinzia verna, that germinate very early in the year. <laughs> and 
and you can see the winter creeper around it is starting to die. So this was treated with herbicide before these started germinating, otherwise they would be dead too. So timing is very important for us when we do this because if we do it too early in the year we might kill off some native plants that haven't gone dormant yet and if we wait too long we might kill off uh, our early spring plants like these that we really look forward to after a long cold winter. Good luck guys! So here we see some more of our lovely spring plants coming up underneath some winter creeper. So these leaves here, this is the false rue anemone. Nice little spring ephemeral flower. Unfortunately, surrounded by a winter creeper, but still able to come up. And we did treat most of the area around this little patch but we had to stop once we got here and we saw these leaves coming up because we don't want to kill those off so we'll let it be let it do its thing this year and then hopefully we will come back earlier next year and clear the rest of this winter creeper out 